These two muscles work together. The symptoms that they give are headache and the um, headache for the frontalis is in the front of your head and the headache for the occipitalis is in the back of your head. Now these are absolutely fascinating muscles. They are what are called the epicranial muscles. There are, there are three epicranial muscles. These two muscles which and, and the temporalis which sits on the side of the head here. These, all these muscles attach to a structure called the gallia aponeurotica which is like a skull cap. It's a very very thick fibrous band which lies over your skull and you can feel this band if you just touch your head and you um, move the skin backwards and forwards. You can feel how the skin and the tissue underneath it glides over the skull. You're moving that skull cap. Now these two muscles attach from the bone of the skull, so the frontalis arises just from the ridge above your eye and it runs up and it attaches to the gallia aponeurotica in the top and when it contracts it will pull tension up the skull cap causing the sensation of a tight band and I would imagine a very high proportion of people know this feeling well where you have the classic tension headache with this feeling of a tight band around your head. Part of that is coming from trigger points in the frontalis and the occipitalis muscles. The muscles also function to give you expression. So if you wrinkle your forehead, if you were to crease your forehead, as in uh, being uh, angry or grumpy or worried, so these uh, especially the frontalis muscle acts a lot in people if you are anxious or, or extremely worried about things um, then this muscle will overreact and in fact part of it part of its overreaction may set off trigger points which then lead to the uh, symptoms that you get which are, are headache and the tight band the epicranial muscles have a complex relationship with the other muscles of the neck and the face and often if you have poor posture or live in a state of anxiety or frustration or anger these muscles which react to emotions are put into a chronic fight or flight mode and so you get trigger points in these muscles which then gives you the symptoms of, of a classic tension headache. The anatomy is that the frontalis muscle attaches in fact to the skin overlying the forehead, interdigitates with the skin and then interdigitates with the orbicularis oculi muscle which is the muscle which circles your eye and which causes your eyelids to close. That's its origin and it inserts up into the gallia aponeurotica which is as I said this skull cap that we have over our skull when it contracts you get wrinkling of the forehead or frowning. Landmarks are simple you feel for the top of the eye the ridge that runs along the top of the eye which is where the frontalis begins and it ends around the hairline and it runs as far as the side of the forehead. The trigger point as you can see is in the center of the muscle and it sits 
directly above the middle of your eye.